naming of the positive ion depends on whether the cation is monoatomic, meaning that it has only one atom. If not, the special names given in the next section will be used. So if the cation is monoatomic, the name depends on whether the element forms more than one positive ion in its compounds. For example, sodium forms only one positive ion in all of its compounds, Na+. Cobalt forms two positive ions, CO2+, and CO3+. Cations of element that form only one type of ion in all their compounds need not be further identified in the name. Therefore, Na+, may simply be called the sodium ion. Cations of metals that occur with two or more different charges must be further identified. We use a Roman numeral in parentheses attached to the name to tell the charge on such ions. Therefore, for this compound, where the cobalt is CO2+, the corresponding name will be cobalt-2. And for this compound here, where the cobalt ion is CO3+, the corresponding name will be cobalt-3. The elements that form only one cation are the alkali metals group 1A in the periodic table and the alkaline earth metal group 2A, as seen here. Also, zinc, cadmium, aluminum, and most often, silver. The charge on the ions that these elements form in their compounds is always equal to their classical periodic table group number. So, in case of aluminum, it is present in the group 3A, which means that the cation will be Al3+. Zinc is present in the group 2B, therefore the cation for zinc would be Zn2+. Cadmium is also present in the group 2B, therefore the cation will be Cd2+. And silver is present in the group 1B, and therefore the corresponding cation will be Ag+. Let's now see a concrete example. Let's name NiCl2 and NgCl2. Now since nickel is not among the elements that always form ions of the same charge in all their compounds, the charge must be stated. The name for NeCl2 is nickel 2 chloride. And since magnesium is an alkaline earth element, the charge in its compounds is always plus 2, so there is no need to mention the charge in the name. And the name corresponding to this compound, MgCl2, is magnesium chloride. In this example, let's write formulas for copper 1 sulfide and copper 2 sulfide. The first thing to note carefully is that the Roman numerals in the names mean one thing, the charge on the ion, and the Arabic numeral subscripts in the formulas mean another thing, the number of atoms. Here, the copper 1 has a charge of plus 1, and therefore, two copper 1 ions are required to balance the 2 minus charge on the 1 sulfide ion. 
meaning that the copper one sulfide has the following formula CO2 S. The copper 2 ion has a charge of plus 2, and therefore one such ion is sufficient to balance the 2 minus charge on the sulfide ion, meaning that copper 2 sulfide has the following formula CUS.